Thank you very much, uh, Richard. It's a real pleasure to uh, be here at the Environmental Defense Gala again for the fourth year, and particularly this year with uh, Minister McMeekin, Adam Vaughn, our, our MP, and, and my old friend, David Crombie, who I've known for almost 38 years now. It's, it's hard to believe. Now, I really look forward to coming to the Environmental Defense Gala each and every year because it's a cause worth contributing to. But it's also a great opportunity to take stock of just how quickly the conversation on the environmental sustainability is evolving. Look where we were just a year ago. We were on the precipice of potentially electing another Harper government. Justin Trudeau was running third in the polls, and Revenue Canada was breathing down our necks as environmental charities and many other charities across the country. Now we have a spring in our step and renewed optimism. And for too many years, for too many years, progress on sustainability has been mired in a false economy. The economy versus the environment debate. Effectively, effectively slowed down meaningful regulatory and policy reform towards building more environmentally friendly communities and sustainable communities, even when many of the solutions have been close at hand. Today, few would disagree that we're entering into the most societal transformation that we've had in Canadian history and globally. I don't want to understate the challenges that lie ahead, and especially for those of us who are energy intensive and trade exposed. There will be many challenges, but there is now an unprecedented alignment on both the need to move forward on a low carbon and green economy, and in the belief that doing so will make our economy stronger and our lives better. For all the hyperbole that once dominated the national conversation on carbon pricing, it's now here. Case in point, it's been a week since the Ontario government released its Climate Change Mitigation and Low Carbon Economy Act and the related cap and trade regulations. Am I wrong in feeling that Ontarians have already moved on? Is it perfect? No. Can it be improved? Yes. But it's a monumental achievement. And let me take a moment, Ted, to congratulate Premier Wynne and Minister Murray and your entire cabinet for doing the right thing. For too many years, for too many years, we've had politicians say it's not the right time, it's not the right economy. We cannot shy away ever from doing the right thing. What's happening here in Ontario is an important reminder to all politicians that Canadians are prepared to accept bold political decisions if those decisions are made in a thoughtful, transparent, and collaborative uh, process and with solutions-oriented partners. Right here in Ontario, the Clean Economy Alliance, which was spearheaded by environmental defense and which the cement industry is proud to be a founding member, is symbolic of the consensus that Canada needs a stronger, cleaner, low-carbon economy. As the cement sector that provides the raw material that underpins much of the infrastructure needed to support modern communities, the Cement Association is proud of the role we've been playing and will continue to play in charting a path to a smart, prosperous, and sustainable Canada. We treasure, Tim, our relationship with environmental defense, and we look forward to continuing on a path of working together to fight climate change and building competitiveness for all Canadians. Thank you very much, and I look forward to hearing David's uh, discussion later tonight. Thanks.